Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at a variation on one of our selection tools. I've got this horse picture here, and I've got another picture as well. A little pop culture here, a little Napoleon Dynamite for you. Okay, but in both situations, you can see if I were to use the selection tool, I might end up with some difficulties here because when I make my selection, it's going to grab a lot of the background. In the case of the mane here on the horse, um, it's going to grab a lot of that white cloud that's in the background. If I go over to Napoleon Dynamite here and I start to grab his hair, okay, you can see that automatically it's going to start to grab a lot of that background as well in the frizziness of his hair. Okay, and that's going to prove to be problematic with the quick select. However, the quick select is not necessarily the wrong tool because using the quick select, um, I was able to go ahead and cut this out and end up with this instead. So you can see I got in between the hairs there. There's a little bit of a blue hue that I would have to go in and clean up, but I was able to retain a number of the hairs that are on the mane and the tail, which is our goal here. Okay, so let's get started with this process. We're going to come in with our quick select tool and we're going to make a very quick selection and we're going to select the main parts of the horse at this point okay, all right come in select the legs all of that stuff okay, i'm going to switch over here and on the main what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that i select only the main part the main part of the main anyway i'm going to back that selection off a little bit here so it focuses on where there isn't a lot of white clouds here. We're gonna get that backed off here. And same thing with the tail. I'm gonna back that off so that there's not a lot of that blue in there. And it's only the, the black of the tail. Now, I've got my selection made. It's a pretty quick and dirty selection, but it'll work for our purposes here. After I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead here and one of the features that is kind of nice with the quick select tool is at the top, I can go ahead and I can click on the refine edge tool. So I've made my selection. It's a very basic selection. Now I'm going to refine the edges. So I click that and now you can see that I've got this refine edge panel that hops up here. And I'm just going to put that off to the side for now. And I'm going to come right in here and you can see that I've got this paintbrush. Okay? And here is the magic of the refine edge. I'm going to come in here and just little by little, I'm going to go ahead and start painting on the main. Okay. So after I paint a little bit, I release the mouse. Okay. We come in here, we discover all these edges that are in here all the way to the edges of the main. Okay. And I get that all back on there. Okay. And then I let go and you can see it's processing it in between. And there it's made a selection on the main. I brought back all those little hairs. Same thing on the tail. I go ahead and start to paint here on the tail. Okay. And I'm just holding and dragging the mouse right now. And there we go. This is really quick here. I'm grabbing probably more blue than I need to. But for our purposes, it'll give you an idea of how this works. Okay. Now I brought back a majority of the tail. All right. Now, with that, I can go ahead and I can click OK to accept my selection here. Now, you can see the selection is totally different now. When I zoom in here, this is the selection on the main, something I would have never been able to do with just the quick select tool alone. Okay. And the same thing with the tail, a lot of fine details all the way down to the pixels of the tail. Okay. Now, like any time that I'm working with this, I'm going to just add that hoof back on here in my selection. Now, I, couldn't still, I can still go ahead and refine this out here. I noticed I had a lot of grass in my selection before, so I'm going to just kind of fix that. And that's looking better. I noticed that one little part of the leg was missing. Same over here. And now at this point, I can do the same as I usually do. I want to get rid of the background. I'm going to go Command-Shift-I. Okay, that's the quick key. If you're not into quick keys, you can go up to select and you can go to inverse. And now instead of the horse being selected, you can tell by the marching ants that are around the outside, I have the background selected. I can go ahead and hit delete. Okay, you can see that I've got the horse here. Now there is some parts of the main that are a little transparent. 
okay? Um, they were selected, but they're not as defined as I would like them to be. So at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect my horse, okay? And then I'm going to hit Command-J. Command-J duplicates the current layer, and I'll just flick off that eyeball here so you can see the difference. And I'm going to turn that back on and watch the main, and you can see that it fills back in and it's a lot darker, okay? So... I have now added that transparency back in there. If I do this too many times, you can see a problem start to crop up here. Command J, Command J, Command J. And you can see too many times, and I start to bring that blue back in here. Okay, The main is very dark, but all of the imperfections are too. So that's something just to look at and be aware of as you do this process. Okay, Now... That's the gist of it with the Refine Edge tool. Um, this same process would work on Napoleon here. I've made my really quick selection here of this head. I can go in to refine the edge. You can see my selection. And now I can start to paint along his hair and start to clean up that selection. You see the moment I let go, it goes in between all of the frizzy curls here. And it starts to grab and get rid of that background. So I'm just painting along here. And same exact thing. Now, when I'm done doing that, again, I click OK to accept my selection. And once again, you can see that it comes in here and it's made a lot of detailed selections around the curls of his hair. And that wraps up our tutorial for today. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.